welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you have landed here for the very first time hope you subscribe to my channel clicked on notification bell so you don't miss out any further updates you can also follow me on my instagram or my blog channel dono ke link hoge description box mein namaste this is rija aur kaise hain aap this is just a try in your own form aur aaj hum dekh rahe hain we are reacting to another space video or um this video is from science time a lot of you guys did ask me to do this video after we did the do's space video so we are doing how big is the universe yep we also going to do get uh fly get set fly i think i am so sorry god of thakur ki jo channel hai jinhone last wala video kiya a lot of you guys asked me to do a lot of his dimension videos and his space videos which we will be bringing if you need a particular video i would love for you to let me know which exact video you want me to react to or else i'm going to choose my own video and then in the comment section you'll be like oh no you should have done this video let me know the video please i would love to do more of his videos i did enjoy it though yep okay let's go and see how big is the universe <laughs> playing excited about this Earth, our home planet, a tiny blue dot floating in the immense cosmic ocean. Here resides everyone you ever knew, every human who ever lived, every story that was ever told. It's where our journey begins, but as we zoom out, beyond our atmosphere, past the moon, beyond the familiar planets and the sun, we embark on an epic quest, a quest to grasp the true scale of our universe. As we leave Earth's embrace, The first marker on our cosmic journey is the moon. Moon. About 384,400 kilometers away, a distance so vast that if you were to drive a car at a constant speed of 100 kilometers per hour, it would take you over 160 days to reach it. Oh. And from this lunar vantage point, Earth appears as a fragile sphere of blues and greens, cradled in the black void of space, a sight that puts our existence into a humbling perspective. This is Earth as seen from the moon. Gorgeous. As we continue our outward journey, the next milestone is the sun, lying approximately 1 astronomical unit away from Earth. This unit, equivalent to about 150 million kilometers, is the standard measuring stick for distances in our solar system. Imagine this, light traveling at an astounding speed of 300,000 kilometers per second. takes about 8 minutes and 20 seconds to journey from the sun to earth if you were to travel this distance in a commercial jet flying at 900 kilometers per hour it would take you about 19 years this immense distance is a stark reminder of the vastness of space even within our own solar system the sun a fiery behemoth provides life sustaining energy to our planet from this incredible distance venturing beyond our home planet and its solar companion the sun we set our sights on mars our enigmatic red neighbor mars at its closest neighbor. approach to earth is about 54.6 million kilometers away oh. however this distance can stretch up to 401 million kilometers when the two planets are on opposite sides of the sun mm. to put that in perspective traveling to mars at the speed of a commercial jet would take upwards of 50 years This vast expanse of space between Earth and Mars done. has been a significant challenge for space exploration. The rovers and probes we've sent to the red planet embark on a journey that is not just far, but fraught with complexities due to the constantly changing distances and orbital dynamics. Oh. As we journey to the outermost reaches of our solar system, we encounter Neptune, the distant ice giant. Ice. Lying roughly 4.5 billion kilometers from Earth, Neptune marks the edge of our solar neighborhood. Sunlight racing across the vacuum of space takes about 4 hours and 15 minutes to reach Neptune from the sun. This staggering distance showcases the enormity of our solar system. Launched in 1977, the Voyager 1 space probe represents humanity's insatiable curiosity and our desire to explore beyond known boundaries. As of now, Voyager 1 has traveled for over 4 decades, covering a staggering distance of more than 22 billion kilometers from Earth. It's the farthest human-made object from our planet, 
a silent wanderer in the cosmic sea. In 1990, at the suggestion of the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan, Voyager 1 turned its camera back towards Earth for one final photograph. This resulted in the iconic the pale blue sea. dot image. At pale a distance of about 6 billion kilometers from Earth, our planet appeared as a tiny, faint dot in the vastness of space. Sagan poetically reflected on this image, emphasizing our responsibility to cherish and preserve our only home, a small speck in the immense universe. At the very fringes of our solar system lies the Oort cloud, Oort a vast cloud. theoretical sphere of icy objects. This distant cloud is thought to extend up to a staggering 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun. That's about 1.9 light years, wow. a distance so immense that it's on the cusp of interstellar space. Scientists determine the boundary of interstellar space, known as the heliopause, heliopause, where the sun's solar wind is stopped by the interstellar medium. This is where the influence of our sun ceases and the vast realm of interstellar space begins. The Oort cloud represents the final frontier of our solar system, a boundary zone where the sun's influence wanes and the cosmic journey into the galaxy truly begins. As we venture beyond the confines of our solar system, our next point of interest is Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to our sun. Located about 41.3 trillion kilometers away, trillion. this distance is equivalent to over 276,000 astronomical units. Oh. At such colossal distances, the AU, a measure so convenient within our solar system, begins to lose its practicality. Hence, astronomers use the light year the distance light travels in one year for interstellar measurements. Alpha Centauri is about 4.4 well. light years away from us. Considering our current space travel technology, a journey to Alpha Centauri is almost unfathomable. For instance, the Voyager spacecraft, traveling at about 17 kilometers per second, would take over 70,000 years to reach this neighboring star system. This immense distance underscores the vastness of space that separates the stars and highlights the challenges of interstellar travel. Our journey now takes us to the grand scale of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Mm. Spanning about 100,000 light years in diameter, this vast spiral galaxy is home to hundreds of billions of stars, each potentially hosting their own planetary systems. You Within this know. immense structure, there's a tiny sphere known as the human radio bubble, extending about a hundred light years from Earth. This bubble represents the farthest extent of human influence in the cosmos, the reach of our radio and television broadcasts into space. Beyond this bubble, it's as if humanity never existed. Any civilizations residing in the vast majority of our galaxy would be oblivious to our presence, given that our signals haven't reached them yet. The scale of the Milky Way is so vast that our entire recorded history is but a whisper in the cosmic wind, undetectable beyond this small bubble. As we leave the Milky Way, we enter the vast, almost incomprehensible realm of intergalactic space. Here, galaxies float in the cosmic ocean, separated by mind-boggling distances. Our galaxy is part of a small cosmic neighborhood known as the Local Group, a cluster of more than 50 galaxies spread across approximately 10 million light years. The local group is a diverse assembly, including not just spiral galaxies like the Milky Way mm. and Andromeda, but also a multitude of smaller dwarf galaxies. The distances here are so vast that light from one end of the local group to the other would take 10 million years to traverse. This scale dwarfs anything within our own galaxy, underscoring the enormity of the universe. Intergalactic Huge. space is a silent expanse, a vast wilderness between the islands of galactic light, in this immense void, our galaxy, home to our entire history, is just a tiny speck among many, a single story in the grand cosmic library. As we extend our cosmic gaze beyond the local group, we encounter the colossal Virgo supercluster, Virgo an immense super collection cluster. of galaxy groups and clusters, including our own local group. Encompassing a region of space about 110 million light years in diameter, or 33 megaparsecs, the Virgo supercluster is a titanic structure in the universe, containing thousands of galaxies from at least 100 galaxy groups and clusters, each with their own myriad stars and planets. 
As we journey outward from the Virgo supercluster, we arrive at an even more staggering cosmic structure, the Laniakea supercluster. This immense congregation of galaxies, which includes the Virgo supercluster and extends over 500 million light years, 500. is our galactic home on a grand scale. Laniakea, meaning immense heaven in Hawaiian, truly lives up to its name. Containing the mass of a hundred million billion suns, Laniakea is a gravitational masterpiece with galaxy clusters, superclusters, and countless celestial bodies bound in a cosmic web of attraction and motion. At the heart of Laniakea lies the Great Attractor, a mysterious region of space that exerts a massive gravitational pull on the galaxies within this supercluster. Ooh. In this vast expanse, our Milky Way, the entire local group, and even the Virgo supercluster are just tiny components of this gigantic structure. Laniakea provides a profound context for our existence. In this immense supercluster, we are part of something far greater and more majestic than we can fully comprehend. As we reach the boundaries of our cosmic exploration, we encounter the limits of the observable universe, an astronomical marvel stretching about 93 billion light years in diameter. This begs a fascinating question. If the universe is only 13.8 billion years old, how can it be so vast? The answer lies in the nature of cosmic expansion. The universe has been expanding since the Big Bang, stretching space and increasing distances between celestial bodies. But what lies beyond the observable universe? This remains one of the greatest mysteries of cosmology. And will Some regions of space are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, placing them forever out of our view. Mm -hmm. Consequently, the true size of the entire universe remains unknown of course. and potentially infinite. The observable universe, vast as it is, might just be a tiny fragment of the entire cosmic expanse. We are left with the humbling realization that there might always be regions of space, entire galaxies and wonders that we will never witness as they retreat endlessly into the depths of the ever-expanding universe. My God, this is insane. First of all, the visuals were so, so beautiful, so breathtakingly beautiful. I could not get out of that. First of all, I was just like, oh, every single time something comes up, like my eyes were just like, you can, you could see that. It's okay. I don't need to repeat it. That room, that's just very well said. It's mind boggling. It's mind blowing. It's unfathomable. Every single difficult word and the big word that was used they were not even difficult and big but still used as just tiny in front of the universe i don't know even imagine we think we are the only living um people like living species living um beings or whatever that is every single tiniest living creatures on this planet we think like that but you never know because since we are like little and we have only seen, though we have seen, we think we have seen a lot. We have sent uh, so many things outside and we have learned much more than we used to before. You never know what lies outside and like, because the universe is so damn big and you never know there's so many things that we have no idea of. Like there might be uh, people or anything living outside and I'm not talking about aliens. I'm just talking about maybe just people who are living better than us. More better technology. Like, I, I don't know. Everything is a mystery. So, like, it gives you such an open end for you to, like, think, discuss, fantasize, um, imagine. I was saying the same thing to my mom the last time we saw this alien video, the NASA video, is that you never know. There might be people out there probably better than us, living better than us. And just like how first we couldn't even trade from one place to another, in very far future maybe, we'll be able to do that from planet to planet. <laughs> yeah, it's a stretch. It's a stretch, but it's just imagination. The Lulu is not always a Lulu. But I'm just, I'm just, my mind is right now going to places everywhere. And I don't want to stop. I, I loved this video. It was very educational. I really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, I have not very much ventured into space yet. 
but now we are because of you guys also when i was studying i probably didn't have it after i took zoology and genetics there was no space for this so i'm very excited to do all of these things i'm very glad that you want me to see it with you i probably be watching it all by myself i don't mind but watching it with you is always fun because i read the comments and i like get your views and then i see something else and then i get your views again it's fun so let me know how did you find this video since this was in english i preferred being in talking in the same language probably make it a little bit more global as possible but i'll be back anyway we'll be doing everything that we enjoy and you enjoy at the same time i'll see you guys next time bye berries love you let me know your thoughts in the comments bye